guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is Sarah also known as laugh love Langella and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a super simple front porch styling and entry space for Halloween last year I did this in two separate videos but just based off of my schedule this year it made more sense to put them together so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right to it Last year I did the tomato cage ghosts and I absolutely loved them. This year I saw a few videos going around Instagram of people doing witches and I really wanted to give it a try and I'm so glad I did. Then on the side here I have this old bird cage from Michaels from years ago that I still had and I added this little skeleton bird with some Spanish moss to give like a nice, fun Halloween touch. And for the front door, I still have this wreath. I actually DIY'd this last year. I had an old wreath that was really sun bleached but was pretty from Target. I took some black spray paint, spray painted it, and added these little glitter pieces and the crow, and it was a super budget-friendly way of having a Halloween wreath for the season. So we kept it super simple here. I definitely want to add another witch to this side. I didn't realize that the like black cheesecloth was a runner and not a tablecloth. And so it was a lot smaller than I thought it was. So I didn't have enough, but I think I'm gonna grab another to have another witch. I love the bird in the cage. I thought it was so fun and it's so funny because this was part of my farmhouse decor, this cage that I haven't used in three years. And so now we gave it some new life. I think it looks so fun. I put one of the spiders over there and then I have this set of concrete pumpkins I had made quite some time ago and put another spider on that one. I love the wreath. I think it is such a fun, like, higher end way of doing Halloween. And then our finishing touch is this guy from Target. So if you are walking up, you will see him hanging underneath. I just used some jute string to make sure that he wouldn't fall off. But I thought this was such a fun way to decorate for Halloween while also keeping it super simple. So now for our entryway space, I'm going to do what I did last year with the bats. I really love how it came out. So what I did is I actually cut four different sized bats on my Cricut machine. And then I just manipulate, manipulate them around so they kind of have like a ridge detail to them and use some putty to put them on the walls and electrical tape for my mirror and just kind of have them going up and I really love that. So we're gonna do that again. So for your bat, you're gonna hold it in the center and just kind of push the wing 
into it and you'll see it kind of creates that ridge detail so when you put it on the wall it has some definition to it then on the part that's facing down you're going to stick the putty on and just kind of determine how you want them to flow so i want it to kind of come off the corner of my cabinet i'm going to have them come up and around so take the bat squish it around Putty. and you can do as little or as many as you want now you definitely don't need to get diy crazy about this like i did i was just using what i had on hand a few years ago amazon sells pre-made ones that are super easy to put up so i will link some options in the video description And then because we have the bats coming around, I'm going to set my vase asymmetrical so I can let the arrangement be nice and full without colliding with them. For this arrangement, I'm really focusing on bringing in a lot of texture and paying attention to the color tones of each stem. I started off with a base of the blue thistle stems from Hobby Lobby and added in some of the seeded oat ones to give it a more dense look and lastly added in some blackberry stems to bring in a little bit more of the brown tone and tie in the blue thistle as well. And now I'm going to add this jack-o'-lantern. I found this at Home Goods last year, and then I added some twinkle lights to it. So I'm just going to tuck the cord underneath it and put the remote in the back. Now we're gonna add these amazing spider candle holders. These are from Kirkland's. They have two different sizes. So I did grab the large and the small. I like how they taper off of each other. And then I found these black candlesticks at Hobby Lobby actually. They were super affordable, but they're a little bit big for the actual candle holder. So I'm just going to grab some putty and put it on the bottom of the candle and just push it into place. And for our last touch, I thought it would be fun to add a few of these spiders that I got from Michael's last year to be going down the cabinet.
So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed how I simply styled our front porch and entryway for Halloween. I really like to keep things nice and simple for Halloween, but it is really fun too. I know my husband and my son absolutely love it. And I just like being able to enjoy this fun little bit for a few weeks. And before we know it, Christmas decorating is going to start. My next video, actually, we are going to kick off the Christmas shop with me's at Hobby Lobby. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. If you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would and join my YouTube family and be sure to ding that notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. So that way you won't miss out on all the Christmas inspiration that is to come. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.